Welcome to Zampala. I'm Karma Sunam Choden. Welcome to another episode of Face to Face. Today with me, I have um, Coach Benjo Galson. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Benjo Galson. I'm a classroom teacher by profession. Uh, I've been teaching for the last 15 years in the middle secondary school. Uh, currently, I work as a para athletic coach for Bhutan Paralympic Committee. And this is my fourth year working with the uh, Paralympic Committee here. From Tokyo Olympics 2020 to now, how is the journey so far? Uh, I think uh, I should start with uh, our experience in the Tokyo game. So we made our debut in the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. Uh, that was a great experience. Uh, we, we, ma we, we made a very successful participation there, which is very important for a, a developing N uh, National Paralympic Committee like ours and a young NPC, National yeah. Paralympic Committee. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, we, we presented well and we, uh, we, we made our participation, which is important. Uh, but of course, uh, winning, the, winning the medal is very important in sports. Yeah. But uh, since we just started, I think uh, we did very well. Uh, especially my athletes, they got lots of experience because Paralympic uh, Games is the biggest, it's the top game for any para athlete. And after the game, they become Paralympian, so which is like uh, like Olympian, so equal to Olympian. So we got lots of experience, we got lots of experience, and we expected uh, uh, many young people to take up para sports and uh, show interest and come forward to take part in uh, para sports. What changes you wish to see for Paralympic sports in the country? So as I was saying, like uh, we actually we were trying to educate people about the Paralympic movement here in the country. Uh, our participation in the uh, Tokyo game is one through which we try to educate young people about the para sports and Paralympic movement. We actually uh, expected more people to come forward and take up para sports yes. and show interest in it mm -hmm. so that uh, the number of athletes uh, presently, we have only f four or five of them taking up sports and uh, we expected more people to come forward. Uh, but uh, to be honest, uh, it's taking time. Uh, of course, advocacy is one thing that we have to do uh, time and again so that uh, many people get, uh, uh, I mean, like many people take up sports and show interest in it. Can you tell us um, coaching styles you follow for para-athletes? Actually, it's nothing different now because uh, we, we are trying to use uh, inclusive, uh, inclusive strategy so that we, like, we don't try to differentiate uh, uh, between people with disability and able-bodied athletes. It's very similar. Of course, in terms of size of the equipment and uh, the, duration of the duration of the training can differ uh, depending on the potential of the athlete, but nothing different. Lah, because uh, we want uh, young people with uh, disability to play along with uh, rest of the people. So that's that's why we believe in inclusiveness and integrated uh, mode of training. Now we have Chimi Demo, the first female Paralympian of Bhutan and also the recipient of BOC RTC Sports Scholarship. What do you think is the biggest thing about Paralympic Games? Paralympic Games is biggest stage for para-athletes to compete and it is parallel to Olympic. It is every para athlete's dream to compete in Paralympic Games. What attracted you to take up the sports? La? Although I didn't, didn't play sport in school days, but from 2018, I had a para athletics sport from BBS and I thought to participate. And from there, I play a short put and my coach Benju Gilson inspired me a lot to be a sportman. I asked this question to your coach as well. So what changes do you wish to see for the Paralympic sports in the country? Currently, we are only four of us. And in future, I wish to see more young people to take up para sports. Thank you so much, Chimi, for your time. And thank you so much to the viewers for watching our show. And I'll see you next episode. Uh, for more updates, please do follow us on our social media accounts, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you, love.